Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Code of Princess. In the last episode, we got the whole gang back together. In this episode, we're looking for the secret entrance into Heliodor Castle. Let's go ahead and switch to Ali, since she's supposedly the one who knows where it is. Where's the secret passage? Any luck? We could use some luck. And quickly. Just give me a sec. It's been a few years. We're surrounded! Every sage for himself! Defeat even more enemies! Hooray! Lock onto you. Let's see if I can actually learn how to use Ally. I should not have done that right off the bat. I was like, oh, let's see if I can use Ally properly. Use his burst on the first five seconds of the fight. Uh, Midnight, you sure know how to pick him. Go do that, do that. If I could get rid of one enemy right now during this burst thing, it will, it will all be worth it. Oh, I got close enough. Okay, cool. I defeated one of them. Uh, I assume it- what the fruit is he doing? Hello, Gryffindor. Uh, I assume if we defeat him, then the others will just disappear. Uh, let's see if we do that. Oh god, I forgot how terrifying these things thought these things are. It's all rushing back to me how stinking atrocious that some of the bonus quests can be. It is stinking insane, and we'll get into it later on, but like right now we're just in the main story. Midnight and Beyond's trying to learn the ropes of the code of the princess and all that jazz, and Ally runs really stinking fast. Uh, and there's like a ninja walk from Naruto, because she's a ninja, she's Alibaba. Uh, come on, run into him. Did I lock on? I don't think I did. Uh, go down here, lock on, and attack, and er, Kerbalui, Curse Slash. Uh, the, the whistle does a little, uh, flinch thing, which is nice. I get rid of them with the bombs. Uh, I know this is super cheap, but whatever, I like being cheap. And we're good! Get rid of that stinking fool. Hopefully there's not another phase, otherwise I'll be doomed. Cool. All right, that was really short. Surprisingly, it was an easy time with Ali. And we unlocked the whatever I called it. <laughs> One final cameo. A very epic name like that deserves a very epic character to appear. Hmm, I wonder who it could possibly be. We can't keep this up! Ali, you gotta hurry! It was near a big tree, but I can't seem to find it now. Oh, the Grandfather Elm? That fell down a few years ago. Aha! That's why I was lost. It was right over there. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Behind us! It's a... Use your words. Hey, guys. I think something's wrong with our sage. Well, more than usual. So, uh, what's got 14 thumbs and is about to get eaten by a dragon? Us! We're done for! Hello. Damn it. We just found the way in. Jeez, Ellie, watch your language. This game was ready to eat for everyone until you showed up with your singing potty mouth and your dirty wordies. Also, I'm sorry, that stinking secret entrance how it was just written is a stinking... Uh, it's stinking right there! There's a big hole in the wall hidden behind, like, a very small bush. How did they not stinking find it? But yeah, uh, as you can see, the key here is just survival. It is not, uh, actually defeating the dragons. You just have to survive because they are crazy powerful and you are not expected to, to defeat them. I very much recommend using Allie because she is the fastest character for this area, um, to use and she's just easy to get, get away with. Uh, something kind of funny though, if you come back to this mission with a super high level character and defeat the dragons, uh, normally when you defeat boss enemies, then they all just, uh, all the minor ones will run away and stuff. The little carrot guys try to run away, but they don't fade out of existence like they would normally would. They continue to be on screen, but they won't fight you. Um, they just keep on running away until the timer runs out. If you defeat the dragons prematurely, the mission doesn't end until the timer ends, which is kind of funny because they don't expect you to beat it. Uh, that might have gotten patched in the Switch version, but I'm not going to find out right now. And so I'll just show you that footage of the 3DS version. And the carrot is just running away. Maybe they're running away from the dragons just because they're scared of them too. So we all know dragons love carrots. So we just gotta keep running here. Also, the timer's like a minute 30. I'm pretty sure it was like five minutes in the uh, 3DS version. Uh, something crazy like that, I'm sure. I'm sure I'm just all the more skilled for having beaten it back in the old days. And I just wanted to feat that carrot because why the heck not? It was looking at me funny. 
even though it wasn't looking at me at all. So just keep on running around over here. I'm, uh, I'm not sure if Zozo could paralyze them with uh, the petrification spell thing, but you could go ahead and try if you'd like. Uh, personally though, I just want to stick with Ali because she's super easy to get around with. Uh, Suki Kage would also be good for this area, though I couldn't use him in the 3DS version. And we're good. <laughs> Things just went from worse to worser. The army's here. I shouldn't have let you off the hook so easily last time. My fondest ally. I am not your enemy. My men and I have resigned from the army. We are but common brigands once more. Right, boss. Seeing you has awoken feelings I thought lay long dormant. But my love is now awake and caffeinated! Huh? Minions! My soulmate is in trouble! Sacrifice yourselves to protect her! Yes, boss! Oh, Baku. Are you blushing? Gross. Oh my. What the? Uh, am I seeing double? You're attracting more monsters with your mushiness. Oh, oh, or is it you whom I am attracting? Your lips say maybe, but your eyes say sure. Why not? He seems adequately fetching. Allie, just kiss him already. Heck, that might scare these dragons off. This is getting ridiculous. We can't fight three of them. Then it would seem that it's time for me to be the hero of your dreams. My whole life has been leading up to this. We'll take care of them. You guys, run! Men, show them no Yes, boss! Idiot 3? What are you... Allegro, get back here. It's funny because they have the same voice actors. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Baku. You say something? No, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Our hearts shall beat as a single heart once more. And together, our brain shall do the work of a single brain as well! Oh my god, he's the best singing character ever. I wish he would actually join us. Just so I could hear his singing voice in every episode. Uh, but yes, Jupongi has turned around and he has helped us escape the dragons. Everyone gets a level up. Now we can play as a dragon, which is very singing awesome. But we've got one more mission for this episode, and this is, from what I remember, one of the toughest missions in the entire Stinkin' game, so... Prepare for that, I guess! I feel like I was just here. Intruders! C coco what are you doing here? And what are you supposed to be? A zombie or something? I don't know any zombies. It's your fault I'm in this body. It's me, Milk. Milk Macchiato. Milk Macchiato? Your name's not Zozo? Milk was my name before. My parents named me that because of my pale skin. I see. That's a, a really lovely name. And that body? You just cobbled some dead crap together? Jeez, the E rating's just thrown out the window now. It seems I'm the only one that cares about the children nowadays. Just throwing dirty wordies left and right like nobody's business. That's so like you! <laughs> well, I'm bored now. Men, kill them. Mutilate them. Do whatever you want. At once! But 
But yes, the ultimate plot twist! Forget about Ali and Solange being long lost friends that knew each other when they were younger. Zozo's real name is Milk! Yeah, you thought it was just weird that she had a scarf on that says I love milk. Nah, it's because of her thrilling backstory. It all comes together now. Wahahaha. Like, my god, like, everyone always looks at that, like, they see that she's, like, such a cool character, and, uh, whenever I show Zozo to people, they never acknowledge the fact that, like, she's a zombie, or, like, the purple hair, or the, uh, blue body, or anything like that. They always point to the scarf, being like, why is she saying milk? She has a scarf that says milk, it's so funny, <laughs> I don't know why that's always the thing that they think of. I actually didn't notice it at first, I don't know why, especially because I love milk so stinking much, you think I would notice it, but, uh, no, it was just... A thing that I didn't notice until later on and yeah, it comes together as like part of her backstory. Her name is stinking milk But yeah, this is a really stinking tough fight Also in the 3ds version it sort of set up in the way that the, all these fights have been where we fight a bunch of minor enemies before the boss So they don't have you fight a boss right off the bat uh, along with a bunch of other enemies uh, Like they do in other missions in the 3ds version they uh, just tire you out with a lot of stinking enemies. I think this is actually the first time I uh, ran out of time on the timer uh, in the 3DS version because there are so many stinking enemies you have to get through. And uh, the fight with Alchemia is stinking monstrous, as we'll see. We finally get to see that giant elephant skeleton thing in action. Really stinking creepy. Uh, let's see if we can go over here and uh, lock onto you. Uh, I should not have done that. Let's see if we can just get rid of this fool. Uh, there you go. That's taken care of. Oh, he's gonna drop something. Gotta check. Uh, he's got nothing for us. Gotta keep going. Uh, we gotta defeat even more enemies still. We're not even to the boss yet. Uh, so we're just gonna keep on doing that. At least they're somewhat weak enough. A lot of them are weak to Zozo's laser of death. But then again, everything seems to be weak to Zozo's laser of death because Zozo is just so stinking awesome. So we're just gonna attack these fools. So no, there's damage it does to them. My god, Zozo's the best. Uh, come on. Attack him like that. I've considered, like, getting a cat named Milk or something like that, or a dog named Milk in honor of Zozo. If I ever get, like, a white dog or something like that, uh, it'll either be named Toby Fox or it'll be named Milk. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I do have a white doggy with me now, though, because I'm sorry for the mic bump. I do live with a white doggy now, though, because I'm living with Shanti, because Ares from my Shadow of Colossus LP, we're now uh, on a mission to take over the world together. And Shanti has joined us. Eventually, her cat's gonna join us as well, but unfortunately, the cat already has a name, so I can't name it Milk. Uh, oh god, so, I like how Zozo froze right there with like her claws out and everything like that. Like, cool. Let's see if we can get rid of these guys. I really, I really miss Zozo's English voice just in the battle segments because it's really stinking funny. She just always says, "Here's a curse." Hey now, quit it! Like it's just funny. Oh uh, my god, these guys are jerks. Uh, let's see if we can get over here. Stop bumping the mic. That would always be helpful if I just don't bump the mic during the video. Uh, but yeah, I remember being stuck on this for stinking forever because the fight is so stinking long. You have, to, you have to go through all this jank just to get to the fight. And then uh, the fight itself is just stinking crazy difficult. And it's a bit more difficult in the Switch version, I would think, because what happens when I run out of stinking MP with Zozo? I'm going to be in some deep doo-doo. If I remember correctly, there is like a giant piece of meat right at the end here that I could use to my advantage. Uh, if I wanted to. First thing you just need to get rid of these guys. Uh, thankfully this doesn't take that much MP, but it does do a lot of damage to them, so it's a win-win for me. Uh, just keep on attacking. Uh, both of them are down, cool. Ooh, magic crystal, very nice. Wow, it refilled it all the way. Uh, let me just check over here while we're over here. Is there a big honking piece of meat for me? Uh, don't take that out of context. Uh, it doesn't look like it, oh well. Just gonna run back over here. It's singing love her running animation. Like, these characters are so stinking cool looking. They should be in Smash Bros and Blade Strangers. I love them all so much. Uh, just go ahead and attack these guys again. Is that dead? I would very much like it if he was dead. Yay, he's dead! And oh, do not like you paralyzing me. Uh, do the lock on. And just keep on attacking. I'm just doing this attack because it takes up not that much MP and. I want to save all the MP I got for the fight with uh, Alchemia because it could be a pain in the booty. Uh, I say that right as I use the laser of death anyway. The death laser! Oh, the lasers collided. That was Dragon Ball Z stuff right there. That looks cool. Even though I've never seen Dragon Ball Z, I should say it looks like One Piece stuff because One Piece is the best, right? Yeah, it's the best. 
Uh, actually, I've got Ares to start watching One Piece. We're on episode 6 right now, and she's already, like, getting emotional from, like, the stinking dog's backstory shoo shoo, like, at the beginning of the show. Uh, you ain't seen nothing yet. It is an amazing experience that everyone should go on. Uh, let's see, we just get a bit more damage into this last guy. Hopefully, after this, we can fight Alchemia. There we go! Uh, just want to make sure he doesn't drop anything. Does not. Let's go. Six enemies left. Is one of them Alchemia? Survey says no? Oh my god, how many more enemies do you have to go through? And how did that go completely through you? My god. Go and do that. I need to see more Zozo cosplayers, like I guess. There's very few that I found on the internet, but like, uh, and just Code of Princess in general. I'm sure, uh, Code of Princess cosplay wouldn't be allowed at conventions, though, due to, uh, costume design reasons. But, um, Zozo and Allegro, or, like, Sister Helga, uh, Sukikage Master T, like, they'd be cool to see. And, like, Ali would be cool to see as well. Uh, just don't dress up as Solange at a convention, because I'm sure that would not be okay. Dress up as the armored Solange that I showed you in that one episode. That'd be cool to see. Uh, let's see, attack you. Uh, let's see if we can just do that. Oh, the bats are very weak, so they do take a lot of damage. Very low HP, which is nice. I don't know how many more times I'm gonna say very. I don't know how many variables of very I could say in this variety. Sort of. Very, I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna keep on attacking, and. I don't even have to look at them. I'm so cool, I could hit you from behind. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What'd you drop? What'd you drop? What'd you drop? You dropped some herbs. Hooray! Heal up that MP. Uh, just get over here and okay, it'll bring me to you. Or, excuse me, stinking jerk. Just gonna keep on attacking you. Not even on screen. You don't even get a satisfying on screen death. Okay, you died right there. Gonna give us anything. Ooh, there's a treasure chest. Must get treasure. Oh, we gotta get rid of this fool first. Uh, get rid of you. Go over here. Gotta make sure we get it. Don't want it to like uh, disappear off camera or anything like that. Uh, go ahead. I can lock on, thank you. Do that. Okay, and they're both gone. Now do we fight stinking alchemia? Defeat the boss, thank you. Let's stink and do this. Oh, it's just her, okay. I'm pretty sure in the uh, 3DS version we fought that third uh, group of enemies with alchemia. And yeah, she's stinking insane. Oh my stinking god, like, oh my god. I don't even know how to explain her because she's, like, she's doing so many crazy things. We don't even have a second to breathe. We're already down to- Oh my Christ! Case in point, this fight is horrible. Um... I mean... I had to level up eventually, right? Well, one good thing about the dragon mission is that it's very stinking easy and quick to level literally everybody up. And also, I learned that Sister Helga is the queen of defense because you could just have her defend the entire mission and she takes zero damage, so... I guess you could do that. Other characters are not as good at defending as her. I was just like, she has a shield. Maybe she's better at defending than everyone else. Solange is pretty good at defending too, but uh, there was something I wanted to show off with Solange specifically. I kind of messed it up right there. Uh, if you guard right at the beginning of the fight with the dragons, then this happens. Uh, well, not that specifically, but there's a very weird thing that can happen sometimes where you do like a crazy wave dash. Let's see if we can have it happen. Uh, is it gonna happen? Maybe, possibly. Of course, as soon as I go back into recording, it doesn't happen. Maybe. Come on, give me the guard, give me the thing. Yeah, there it is! Yeah, if anyone said that Code of Princess characters didn't belong in Smash Bros. before, take it all back now, because look at this. Code of Princess characters are the masters of wave dashing. Yeah, all you melee purists, I'm sure you'd love to see them in Smash Ultimate. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's go ahead and get back to the fight with Alchemia. Also, I don't know how I went the entire game without saying, EXOSIA OBLITERATE! You know, I never realized that the character sprites are just mirrored. They're not actually alternative when you turn around, because when you face different directions, her giant arm is always facing at the screen. Her staff is always in the background. Okay then, designer flaws, hooray. Okay, let's see if I can do this a third time. Oh geez, are off to a great start. So Alchemia is basically Zozo, but has all great. She has more powerful attacks overall. So it's going to be a heck of a time trying to get this done. So if we could just get a stinking lock on and then do that and a little bit of that. 
Uh, let's see, just keep on t attack, attack, attacking. Always uh, dodge the other thing whenever she does something crazy like that. And I don't know why I just jumped into that. That was unfortunate. Uh, let's see, come on. Do the laser. It's like you can't do damage to her unless she's standing up, which is super confusing. Oh, that was good. And then it was really bad. Uh, come on, get the meat. Probably might have been premature to get that meat, but whatever. That's what she said. Okay, just keep on doing that. She has to be on screen for her to take any damage. And all of those attacks blast enemies off into the other dimension. Okay, uh, I need a lock on. No, I did not need to use that burst right now. Okay, this is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. Oh, uh, come on, 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 come on. Uh, let's see if I can just get in here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, thank you. Uh, go here and hit. God darn it, Zozo. You're so slow, slow. Uh, get out of the way. And... Oh, god darn it. You're such a jerk. Oh, uh, having her fight be built up for so long because she was always in, uh, hanging the sidelines and then just... She ends up being a stinking monster. Uh, when actually in battle, there you go. Okay, just keep on doing that. When you get her up against a wall, it's really good because uh, you're, she won't be able to bounce up off screen. So that's really good. Just keep on doing that. And do the little freeze. Come on. Uh, come on, just do electric, electric, electric. Oh, jeez. God darn it. Uh, get in there. Hurry up. Get out of there. Okay. Sorry that this commentary is really crummy. Just like trying to focus right here now where I lost my third burst. Oh, god darn it. Oh, jeez. Did I lock on? No, I didn't. God darn it. Okay, go. Oh, get out of there. Okay, that's a good time to get attacks on her. And she is finished. Oh, my stinking god. Level ups, you are the best. It's okay for me to hit a girl in this one instance, right? Stop! Don't hurt my body! What do you mean? That's my body! My real body! Whoa! So, uh, how old are you really? Allegro, you're just adding on to your sin counter. Sorry, but I'll be borrowing this body a little longer. See you later, Milky! Damn it, Coco. Okay, forget about the Uranium. Apparently, She's no one cares gone. anymore. We gotta find her. She can wait. The queen is more important. You sure? How selfless of you. After we stop the queen, we'll all help you find your body. Looks like we're all here. Brother. Hi. <laughs> the time has come. We must face Queen Destiny. How long have you been there? We could have used you earlier. Let's go, brother. Hey, I'm not through with you! What? What's with that family and just charging off? That's it. When I write a ballad about our adventure, I'm leaving certain people out. I like how Schwartz is just bouncing away because he's not able to run. Oh, it just never gets old. And yeah, we sure could have used you earlier during that stinking, obnoxiously horrible fight. Oh, whatever. We kicked some major booty. We have got a lot of levels under our belt. And we made it into the castle. I don't really know how else to say this, but our adventure is coming to a close. Next time on Code of Princess, the finale. We're taking down Queen Destiny. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.